things that are going to be up on eBay as an auction. Is that a good enough title? Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. This video is my weekly things that are going to be up on eBay as an auction. Is that a good enough title? Well, these are the things that will be available tonight. As soon as this video is over, they all will be available as an auction, so you will be able to bid on them if you would like to. And this is just kind of the video for me to be able to show you them a little bit closer. And, um, well, just so you can see them a little bit closer. Instead of just looking at them in a picture, you can see them in video. All right, I, I pulled, now, I pulled some different things. I, I did salt and pepper shakers, but I've moved on to larger items. And I mean, I, I'm, I'm doing lamps, y'all. I'm doing lamps, which I've not sold lamps on eBay yet, but I, I, I'm doing it because these are really cool. Let me just go ahead and start with them. They are these pink mid-century modern lamps. They are a matching set. Uh, they do not have the shades. They do, however, work. I have plugged them in. They do light up. The cords are great on them. They are a vintage cord, but there aren't any spots in the cord that would really require it to be switched out unless that just makes you feel a little bit better. But I think that these are a lot of fun. They are a hollow ceramic on the inside, and they have these fun swirls on them with this little cage so these are just amazing. They're pink, they're great, they're mid-century, and they're up for auction on eBay. These next items are really pretty. Now, I, I don't really like plates, especially collector's plates. I, I Actually, I don't buy collector's plates, but these, however, are special. These are of two silent movie stars back in the 19, well, well, whenever there were silent movies, you would think that I would know that because that's kind of like what I like. But anyway, they are silent movie stars. Now I have heard of Anita Stewart before. Um, you can Google her. She was just one of the more popular silent film stars back in the day. And she is beautiful. Her, this plate, her little cheeks are rosy. It does have this gold trim all the way around the plate. The gold trim is a little bit worn, but the flowers and the plate itself is really, really pretty. You can see the kind of the blues and greens and purples. They are made by Star Players Photo Incorporated out of Chicago. There was crazing throughout them, but I have them both listed as a lot together. The graphics on them, the floral graphics all the way around the plate do match. So I think that these would look lovely hung together because, well, they're very, they match. That's why. This guy is Francis Bushman, and he was a male silent movie star. And he is a handsome guy. And his cheeks are rosy too. And his wavy hair. So he as well was a very popular silent movie star of, you know, the 19 whenever. These are also uh, available up on eBay. There's no, there's no chips or flaws on them. Uh, so yeah, those are also available as well. I also, I showed this in uh, a haul video yesterday. Um, and I, I'm just gonna go ahead and try selling it on eBay. And it is this restaurant where it's Indiana University, it's Shenango, China. There is the bottom of it. Really nice piece of restaurant where, um, if there are people that are at Indiana University alumni, you know, it's just a nice little fruit bowl. I think I had seen it as a chili bowl. I mean, that's not very much chili, but, it could be a chili bowl. I think it might be a fruit bowl or a small cereal bowl or oatmeal bowl, um, but it has the really, really neat uh, Indiana University graphics. So this as well is listed on eBay as an auction. Now, another thing that was in my haul video yesterday, and I said it was going to be a couple weeks that it would be available, but I lied. 
Well, I didn't really lie. I just didn't realize that I was going to put them on eBay like now. And that is, or that these are the big eyed angelfish wall pockets or planters. These are amazing. They're in amazing condition with like a mauve, pinky mauve and grays and gold and black. Look at the big eyes on these guys. They are the same size. I, I'm not sure if originally they had, you know, Big Mama with them because a lot of times you'll see them in threes. So they're in excellent condition. There's no chips on them. Very clean on the inside, but a lot of fun and very kitschy. So these, I just really like these. I like the color on them. They're fun and they are available as an auction in my eBay store. Now my eBay store is linked down in the description below, but my store's name is wildflower812. And if you see something that you like, you can always, you know, send me an offer. I, all of my listings, except for my auctions are listed as a best offer. So you can shoot me an offer and I may accept it. Y'all never know. My auctions, I do not put as a best offer because sometimes when you do that, someone will try to buy it from you out outright and you could have just let it sit for a little bit and you might get some more bids. So if you sell things as an auction, I would be very hesitant to put, to click that little box that says best offer. I would just let it ride and see how it goes. So there's my little eBay, my little eBay advice of the day. All right. The next thing I have I have another set of these, of a different railroad, but I'm gonna try these. These are Santa Fe, I'm gonna show them to you one at a time. Santa Fe Railroad dining car pieces. So this is the little butter, the little butter tr butter plate marked with Santa Fe. It has crazing throughout. And then we have the sugar bowl with the lid. Again, Santa Fe Railroad, no marking on the bottom, no chips or flaws on them. Does have crazing, which I, I myself find beautiful. And it has the little personal creamer. So all three pieces are listed as a lot. Let me see if I can do this, Misty. Yay, I did it. So all of these are listed as a lot. They're, they're railroad dining car pieces. And so that's kind of a thing of the past. And, um, you know, back in the day when people traveled on the railroad, it was so fancy. And they had little ceramic restaurant wear pieces. They just didn't have all the stuff in a little disposable dish. It was fancy. When you spent your money, you spent your hard earned money going somewhere on a train, you were treated very well. I mean, I think, I don't know. I don't know that for sure. I have been on the Amtrak going to Chicago and there's a dining car and like they serve hot dogs and stuff. So nothing fancy like that. All right, I'm going to try a piece of salvaged a light fixture. Um, it's really neat. These do pretty well for me on eBay. And it is this brass, very arts and crafts style, mission style, brass porch light. It has the amber glass all around on each side. And you can see here on the back, you know, you would just wire it in to your wall. So this could be a, it could be a porch lamp. It could be, you know, an interior lamp if you wanted it to be. It obviously is going to need to be rewired. Has really pretty patina on it. It is brass, a magnet does not stick to it. And so that is a little piece that's also available in my eBay store. Okay, the next couple items are pieces of advertising. Now I love advertising pieces. It's one of the, my favorite things to find and to source for. And I have three pieces that, well, one of them, well, two of them will do better probably are worth a little bit more than this one I'm going to show you first. But this is still a really fun Coca-Cola tray. It is original, it is not a reproduction. It has the fishtail Coca-Cola emblem right here, that they call that the fishtail. It does have some rust on the rim, on the edges, which a lot of them do. 
uh, it, it's all the way around. There is rust all the way around on the edges. This particular tray is from 1961. It has pansies and daffodils on it. And it says, be really refreshed. But I like the colors on it. And so this is up for auction in my eBay store. Another piece. Now, these next two pieces are worth a little bit of money. And they're both thermometers. This one is for Camel Cigarettes. This one does have an issue though. The thermometer is missing. Well, half of it is, it's been broken off. So it, that, that does hurt the value on it because having the thermometer is definitely, makes it worth a little bit more money. It is embossed. You can see how it's, the metal is raised uh, where the cigarettes are. This part where it says camels have a real cigarette, a real cigarette is a camel cigarette according to this sign. But this would go in a shop. It says sold here. It's also an original piece. It's not a reproduction. It has a little bit of wonkiness to the edges, uh, but still more of a rare piece. The, the graphics on it are still very, very crisp and clean and nice. Would definitely look good in a man cave. Again, great colors on it as well. So these are pretty collectible. And this one is up for auction in my eBay store, as all of these things are. I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, this next one also is missing the thermometer, unfortunately. But it's still a good piece. It is a Pepsi thermometer. It says, say Pepsi, please. The say Pepsi, please is all embossed, so it is raised up a little bit from the on the metal. This is missing the thermometer. So that does affect the value a little bit, um, but it does have a little bit of rust and pitting on it. The Pepsi down here also has a little bit of crackling and rust and some, like the blue kind of bled on. Maybe it got wet and that blue just kind of bled on on the back of it. Um, but you can see the Pepsi down here is also embossed and you can cut, maybe kind of see the indentations in the metal sign right there. But these are, you know, it's more it's more difficult to find Pepsi items than it is Coca-Cola items. And this is from the 1950s, 1960s, and it is also up for auction in my eBay store. Now this is gonna be a little bit to ship, but again, I'm 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 being brave. I'm being brave. I got the lamps. I'm about to show you other things that are pretty big size as well. This next item is something that is pretty rare in this colorway, and it is a West Clocks Moonbeam Bakelite Alarm Clock. Now, this is Bakelite, and so it's like it's a butterscotch Bakelite. It's the color is like a butterscotch color, and it has this maroon or dark red face on it. It is West Clocks. It's in good condition. Also, and I haven't been able to test this because it takes a particular kind of light bulb, but there's a light bulb inside here. And so when it's plugged in, it kind of has a little glow like a moonbeam. That's where it got its name. And I did plug this in to see if it works. And you can hear sound come on. Like I can hear it trying to work, but it doesn't work. It, the, the arms do not move. And the second hand does also does not move. So if someone knows what they're doing as far as fixing a clock, um, then they can, they can make this work. But this in itself, just the look of it to sit on a shelf is collectible anyway, especially in this butterscotch collar. So this is also available in my eBay store. The cord on it is in great condition. I mean, I plugged it in. I wasn't nervous about plugging it, plugging it in. There aren't any bad spots in the cord but a really cool piece and a more of a rare colorway to find in the butterscotch. I also have a book. I'm gonna try this book. This is a neat book. It's a heavy book. I weighed it, it weighs seven pounds. So it's a seven pound book from the 1930s and it is The Birds of America. Big book, Birds of America. It has the original dust jacket on it. And there is the book itself. I like to look at books with underneath the dust jacket. I'm gonna take the dust jacket off because you know you can you can display the dust jacket in its own right and then display the book as well. 
and you can see the it has this gold gilding words that say birds of america the book itself has a little bit of it's a little dirty it's just been in a dusty shelf and a dusty house and a dusty room but the pictures it has a lot of black and white pictures in it but there are some colored pictures in it and it's just beautiful it almost reminds me of like an audubon society book um, this one is not an audubon society book but the pictures on the inside really resemble that to me here is a what are you this is an american woodcock down here and it tells the size so it's just kind of a neat book oh here's some swans the whistling swan and a duck canada goose so lots of facts and information, but again, it's a heavy book. It will ship media mail, so that's going to be a lot less expensive to ship it because shipping something that's seven pounds would be a little a little expensive, but I will ship that media mail, and so it's, it's much more manageable. All right, the last two things I'm going to show you are very cool, and actually, one of the things I'm going to show you hurts my heart just a little bit to sell it because I love it. And, but I, I don't need it. So it's, it's gonna, it's up for sale. And that is this city's service, towing service truck. It's made by Marks, M-A-R-X. It's just a metal lithograph truck. Now it is, it has some wheel issues. Oh no, the wheels over here. It's missing its tire on this side. But it, in, in and itself, it is in really good condition. You can see the top there. These are really hard to find. You don't see them very often. The tire is off over there, but I do have the tire. Uh, and it has the bed, it has the little toolbox back here that opens. Now, I personally love this truck to display at Christmas time because it's so gorgeous. Um, I have a similar truck at, ha at my home, which is why I decided not to keep this one. And at Christmas time, I put all of my scotch tape tins in it. And so it makes a really nice display with the green and the red. It's very Christmassy. But they're, these are really, really pretty collectible. They're, they're very hard to find. It is missing some parts. It's missing the tow mechanism. Uh, so it is missing some tires so that is going to affect the value a little bit, but it's still a really fun, really cool truck. And this is also available in my eBay store. This last thing is so awesome. And these have been sitting in a box and I kept thinking, I need to list those. I need to list those. Misty, you need to list those. Well, I'm doing it. I'm listing them and they're going to be up as an auction. They are salvaged pieces or reclaimed pieces of gorgeous jadeite green bathroom fixtures. So they've been reclaimed. So thank God somebody had the, the foresight to remove these from a house intact and not just smash them to smithereens because these are the real deal. They are porcelain. They are heavy. I will say that. So we've got the wall mounted soap holder, the wall mounted toothbrush holder, the little cup goes in there, it's a piece of styrofoam on the back. You can see where the adhesive was when it was mounted. So the toothbrush holder, the towel bar, so there's each of these with the towel rod. So it would, you know, attach like that onto your, even, now this is wood, but it's still that, oh, that beautiful jadeite collar. So the towel bar, as well as the toilet paper roll. So these are amazing. They're in pristine condition. Um, I did pick these up at an auction and I about died because they are just gorgeous. And if I were redoing my bathroom, I would put these in my bathroom. I love them. Um, they should do pretty well, these reclaimed pieces, especially in these fun colors, should do really pretty good. And I think that that's, is that it? Did I show everything? 
I think that I did. I think that I showed everything that's going to be up for auction this week. I'm really working on getting more eBay listings out, but these live sales have really taken a lot of my time. So I'm, I'm working on it. So just know that I'm going to try my best to get more listings up on eBay, but I am going to do these auctions in these auction previews every Friday, just to give people an, a chance to be able to bid on something if they're unable to watch my live sales on Wednesdays. Oh, which is another point I should make. I do have live sales every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time right here on my YouTube channel. I show about 70 things. So it's, it's a good time. So if you haven't seen one already, make sure that you come back. You come back and spend a little time with us and um, we have a lot of fun. Right now when this video is over, you can go if you would like and bid on one of these items. It'll be a seven day auction. The auction will end this time next Friday. So if you like this video, please make sure that you do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, random comments, smiley faces, heart emojis, whatever. I don't care. Just type in a bunch of a bunch of random things. Leaving a comment in the video does really, really help our videos get noticed in the YouTube algorithm. So it would be very kind if you left a comment. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye and I will see you in my next video. Bye.